Hi, I'm Tom Stanton with the Gardner Research Board. I'm very fortunate today to be joined by Adam Solipsky, the CEO of Amazon Web Services. Can you tell us about how you grew into your current role as CEO for AWS? Well, I came to Amazon in 2005 to actually help start up AWS. Uh, so it was really a little more than an idea back then. And in fact, I remember uh, we'd go around telling people that we thought AWS had the potential to be the next billion dollar business inside of Amazon. And people looked pityingly at us and said that would be a lot of gigabytes stored or a lot of hours of compute. Uh, and of course, in a very short time, you know, we managed to significantly uh, beat that. And uh, the business just grew so quickly because so many customers were just in such you know, deep need of uh, the types of infrastructure services that AWS offered. Right. And so really, I, I think in those, uh, for many years, it really felt like a balloon expanding in all dimensions simultaneously. And it was just a great opportunity to, to grow and to build new teams and to develop new leadership skills. And so it was a very uh, a formative time for me, for sure. Uh, and then completely unexpectedly, in 2016, I uh, had the opportunity to become the, the CEO of a public software company, Tableau. I uh, spent four and a half years there, and that was a, a great experience. I think really uh, also helped to grow me in different dimensions of, of being a leader. Uh, then I had a, a wonderful opportunity, again, to come back to Amazon. So I'm a boomerang. Uh, been back uh, about a year and a half, uh, this time as CEO of AWS. And so I, I think that uh, what I've tried to do is to really you know, take all the, the uh, Amazon leadership principles and all these uh, 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 great values that, uh, and, and practices and mechanisms that Amazon has and uh, really try and bring what I hope I've learned uh, over the past few years in terms of the additional things about how I want to lead and hopefully bring that all together in a productive way for the organization. What do you think has been the biggest impact that technology has had at AWS that sort of IT or architectural thinking has had? Well, the uh, AWS was founded both internally for Amazon as well as simultaneously for external customers. So Amazon had this big need. Amazon was spending way too much time on databases and on storage and on compute in hundreds and hundreds of distributed teams. And so uh, we had this idea very early on of, well, what if we created a, a shared layer of infrastructure services? And simultaneously with that, we discovered what seems pretty obvious now, which was that every external organization had the same needs uh, that Amazon had. Everybody uh, needed that undifferentiated heavy lifting taken off their plates. And uh, uh, the, the benefits just became you know, very, very quickly apparent uh, to customers First, we started with a, a lot of startups, a lot of developers. Um, pretty soon, uh, enterprises started to, uh, to take note, but it was maybe for uh, non-core, non-central workloads. And then, of course, that accelerated rapidly, and you had uh, companies from uh, uh, like Netflix and Capital One and General Electric and um, uh, public sector organizations like NASA you know, quickly uh, uh, adopting. And I think from there, the mainstream enterprise adoption really just uh, just blossomed as the benefits just became you know, very, very obvious to so many people. 